Lesson five, we will be relating place value and metric units, or relating metric and place value units. Here's your learning goal. Please make sure you rate yourself before you finish. And so let's look at our chart here. Go ahead and copy this if you need to pause the video to do so, please do. So we know that one and a hundred, how many times as large as a hundred than one? Well, one times a hundred is a hundred. So a centimeter is smaller than a meter by a hundred times because 100 times a meter would be a centimeter, okay? So 1,000, 1,000 is 1,000 times larger than 1. So a kilogram is 1,000 times larger than a gram. A kilometer is 1,000 times larger than a meter, and a meter is 1,000 times larger than a milliliter. Now here's where we're going to get tricky. To go from a centimeter to a meter, we have 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter, right? Now we have 1,000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. So we have to put these two numbers together, okay? So how many zeros is that? One, two, three, four, five. So a kilometer is a hundred thousand times bigger than a centimeter. So here, 429 is four hundred and twenty-nine ones, right? Because 29 plus 400 is 429. 2,456 is 2,000s and 456 ones. All we're really doing is breaking this into the place value. So just, this should be a review. So 429 centimeters is for meters and 29 centimeters because one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So now we just have four groups of 100, so four meters. 2,456 meters is two kilometers and 456 meters. That's because one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So, let's now look at this, 456 thousands and 829 ones. So we just have 456,829, okay? So, 456,829 would be the milliliters, right? Because this is the thousands and this is equivalent to like the ones, okay? So for homework tonight, I would like you to compare the following numbers and I would like you to circle the larger number. Don't forget to rate yourself when you are completely finished. Thank you for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.